Okay, in this video here, we're going to discuss a couple changes that are coming to Tyson Foods. We're changing the, they're changing the way they do dispatching. We're going to discuss it. They're going to be changing our electronic communication in the trucks. We're going to discuss it. And... Are we going to get in inward facing cameras? Today, it is August 20th, 2024. Let's discuss this now. Okay, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. August 20th, 2024. Right now, we are under our old dis dispatch system. Right now, we have two fleets. I'm on Fleet 2. There, I think, is seven different dispatchers in Fleet 2. And then there's Fleet 1. And I don't know, I'm pretty sure there's seven or eight dispatchers there. The way they're going to be doing dispatching coming this afternoon when they do the changeover. There's going to be three fleets. The East Coast is going to be on Fleet 2. The kind of the center of the country is going to be uh, Fleet 1. Texas area is going to be on Fleet 3. So with the new system in it uh, is, like right now, my dispatcher has probably close to 50 drivers. 45 to 50 drivers. That's what they try to keep the fleet at. My dispatcher might have 45 drivers from 8 to 10 different states. I'm in North Carolina where I live. He might have drivers in Texas. He might have drivers in Illinois. He might have drivers in Florida and etc. Pennsylvania. And this is just talking about the over the road changes. I don't know about the regional. I'm not regional. I'm over the road. So, the way they're going to be doing changes are they're breaking into the three parts of the country, the three different fleets. And then from there, each dispatcher is going to have drivers only in a certain area of that fleet like on the east coast it's all the way from pennsylvania down into florida a little bit of tennessee is on fleet two i believe for the most part if you look on the map my dispatcher has drivers from pennsylvania to middle of north carolina up then there's a dispatcher from that part of north carolina down to georgia and then there's two in georgia to florida etc. I think right now we've dropped from seven dispatchers down to five if I understand it correct. So my, they're doing this so the drivers should be able to get home and more consistent miles that way by having a dispatcher that's all he's worried about is getting drivers home in a certain area at the time the driver wants. You can be home every two weeks, every week, whatever you want. There's times I'm out three weeks. There's times I'm out two months or whatever. It depends what I want. They're not forcing me to stay out long. When I stay out longer, my checks get bigger. That's why I do it. And when I go home, I usually spend more money. Out here on the road, I spend money because it costs a lot to live right now with food. Everyone knows the most expensive vehicle right now is a shopping cart. But let's not talk about politics. We're talking about Tyson Foods and the changes that are coming. Like I said, it's going to be broken down to three fleets, about three fleets. And then under each fleet, there's going to be dispatchers. And like I said, I think fleet two, what I'm in, I believe there is five dispatchers. Each dispatcher still is going to have 45 to 50 drivers, but all in one certain area. Like, like I said, Northern North Carolina up into Pennsylvania, it's all my dispatchers doing. So when he has drivers home, going home, he knows he needs to get drivers to a certain area. He supposedly gonna have a better relationship with load planning that way. Yesterday we had a conference call with a terminal manager, which was the same terminal manager I got right now. And when a change ever happens, the same one I had, I'm not changing fleets. A lot of drivers are changing fleets and dispatchers. I'm just changing fleet numbers and dispatcher. But the actual fleet fleet, I'm staying the same. So, that is what the changes are coming with dispatching systems. Slowly, it's going to be better for the driver, 
time will tell. It if it's supposed to affect this afternoon, the new dispatching system. It's probably gonna be a day or two of growing pains. Well, probably a couple weeks of growing pains till they get the item deal. So that's the change that's gonna take effect today, August 20th, 2024. So we'll see what happens. The next change. Right now we are using Orbcom for our logs and our onboard messaging load assignments, etc., are coming via Orbcom. Two years ago when we switched from PeopleNet to Orbcom, they said it was gonna be the best thing since sliced bread, and they found out it wasn't. Now we are gonna be switching over. This is some good drink right here, Fruit 2 L. Good stuff. But right, uh, they're slowly switching over. Right now, all the new trucks on the yard is gonna have the new system, and then they're gonna slowly update all our trucks with the new computer, uh, new soft, new hardware. We're gonna go to Sam Sarah. Spoley, they tested two different ones, and the drivers that tested it like Sam Sarah. I did talk to one driver, he was had the other system, I forget what he said it was, and they were putting Sam Sarah in his truck to do a test. So they actually did test a couple different systems, and Sam Sarah won. They supposedly do have the ability to have an inward facing camera. My buddy Adam, that I have uh, talked to about before and I showed a picture of, he was at, at the yard sun, uh, this weekend because he got a different truck because his transmission was messing up or whatever. He got a newer truck. He was looking at some of the brand new trucks. The new camera system for the Sam Sarah, which is an AI based system as I am understanding has a hard cover over the inward facing cameras. And right now Tyson is saying they are not gonna go to inward facing cameras. They're not gonna turn it on as of now. It could change in a month, it could change in a year. You never know how companies are. I believe the inward facing cameras is a thing of the future, unfortunately. The insurance companies are gonna be start mandate, mandating this and probably FMCSA but all these bad wrecks that are happening out here on the road. 10 days ago, I was on Missouri in I-44. There was an officer involved shooting. They had the interstate shut down. When I got on I-44 from St. Louis, they were talking about exit such and such, interstate was closed. I was trying to get closer to it before I got off the road to ride the side road. There was one person, one driver, truck driver, hit a car, and hit two other, or hit two cars and hit two other trucks. For driving too fast and didn't stop. Three people died. Two adults, one child of five years old. I was about a quarter mile behind it. It took about 45 minutes for them to put the fire out. I sat on the side of the road four hours before they opened up a path wide enough to let the trucks pass. And I almost hit one of the NFI flatbed trucks. He was the first, the furthest one west. They had him, I almost, I was probably that close from hitting him. Somebody already took his mirror out. I don't know why they didn't move the truck over a little bit. But that interstate was shut down. I kept on looking at Google Maps for well over 20 hours at that accident. Like I said, three are dead. There was a bad wreck last week in Ohio. Several dead. These truck wrecks are happening more and more. Unfortunately. You can look at any social media po uh, deals and talking about all the different wrecks. 
that wreck scene I saw, I think it was the 10th. I think it was August 10th. Looked worse than some of the bad scenes I saw when I saw the new Twister movie a couple weeks ago. People driving too fast for conditions. People driving with their head up their ass. Yeah. That's the main reason why I want to have stopping distance in front of me when I get I show videos how close people are. It's because of that. I want to make sure I have stopping distance. There's a many a times where people will just pull out in front of you or whatever. If I don't have my eyes on the swivel, there would be a lot of deaths. People don't realize how close they are when they do that shit. Had a car just the other day come out on the interstate. If I didn't slow down and hit the brakes, I would have wiped him out. He would have hit me. Use your eyes, people. But talking about the inward facing cameras, with these accidents that are happening here lately, things are gonna have to change. People will say they don't wanna have the inward facing cameras. I'm making over $100,000 a year. I had inward facing cameras when I worked at cargo transporters. I was making 50 to 55,000. I didn't like it. Well, they, right now they're gonna not turn on this inward facing camera. Spoiler well, has a cover over it, but it could change. Hey, I'll live with it. Hopefully they'll have it where we we're parked like I'm parked right now at a plant waiting off my load. Well, when we are parked, it the inward facing camera sets off. That's what I'm hoping. But if not, I'll pull down my visor or whatever. I usually only use this cover here anyway. But if they want to see my naked butt, they can see my naked butt. But I think the inward facing cameras are a thing of future. More and more companies are going that way. I think the insurance company is going to mandate it or the government, especially with these bad rigs. Just look on any site, Facebook groups or whatever about the different trucking rigs. CDL Life, I think it is, or whatever. They're talking about all the different bad truck wrecks and people dying. Like I said, that one I had, I was behind for four hours, three dead. All because somebody, probably 75 mile an hour, and to stop traffic. When this, they were saying that for 40 miles that the interstate was shut down. But they were balls to the wall. Yeah. Something's got to change. So... People don't want to work with a company with the inward facing camera. It's going to be at almost everywhere. Anywhere you go, for the most part, there's inward facing cameras on you. And there's a stupid fly in my truck. A lot of states, North Carolina, Smolly, Georgia, has got AI based deals over top the highway that spots drivers holding the phone. And give you a eleven thousand dollar ticket. I think it is. It's happening. Cameras are everywhere. Supposedly, this Sam Sarah system we are going to it is AI based, and it will tell you you're doing something wrong. To hopefully, you fix your bad habits. Excuse me. If you're following too close, yeah, my truck will go beep, 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 whatever. But it's going to talk to you following too close. It is going to say, supposedly, as I am understanding it, if you didn't stop long enough at a stop sign, a California stop, as they call it, it's going to tell you. And it's going to report it to your company. It's going to make a driver a better driver in a few, you know, deal. If you're speeding for conditions or whatever, it's going to tell you. I can't speed for the most part. I have a e-smart truck, which is whatever it thinks the speed is, is the speed that I can get. If it thinks the speed is 55 and it's the eye in the sky or whatever, they have that zone, that geo zone, that's all I do. And if there's an issue with it, I send 
the head of our uh, safety department, hey, in this area, they got the speed wrong, he'll fix it in that night. It'll go across everyone who has eSmart be updated. But that is big changes are coming. August 20th, this afternoon, 2024, they're changing the way they're doing dispatching. Sounds good. We'll see how it is in a couple months. Talked to my dispatcher today in a conference call. He's saying we probably have more miles. And probably with the next three to six months, we're going to get out of Orbcom and go to Sam Sarah. You can go online and check uh, uh, YouTube about Sam Sarah. Spoli, it looks like a, 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 a better tablet looking deal. You can go online and use the app to get your messages, send messages if you're home, change your law book if you're home, and I have stupid flies get on my nerves. And it probably has the outward facing camera. Inward facing cameras, I'm understanding from Adam, is blocked off. When it they'll unblock it, I do not know. I do not work for in the say in the safety department or whatever. I don't make that call. I'm just a truck driver telling you about what's happening here at Tyson Foods. If you want to drive for Tyson Foods, we are hiring in certain areas. You could go down, uh, drive for Tyson, you could Google it. Look on the website and they'll tell you what they are hiring in your state or whatever. It might be regional. It might be over the road. The pay depends on your experience and what division or whatever you want to do. Everything gets paid different. Regional gets paid different than over the road. I'm over the road. I don't know about regional or local. I'm over the road. I'm out two to six weeks, sometimes more. We haul nothing but Tyson food product, at least me. Two and a half years, I have yet to do anything else but Tyson Foods. If I'm at an area and there's no freight, they'll deadhead me. They've done it several times from Pottsville, Pennsylvania down to Goodlandsville, Virginia, Tennessee, which is like 750, 800 miles. They doing it, they've done it two or three times. But if you're looking for better miles, check out Tyson Foods. We're hauling, we're a private carrier. We were, I drive for Tyson Foods. We haul nothing but Tyson Foods. It could be Tyson Foods to a Tyson Foods. It could be pick up for some uh, different company, cold storage or whatever, going to a Tyson or going to a Walmart, whatever. But it's a Tyson food product I'm hauling. It's all it's in the trailer. So if you're not getting in miles and you're in the area Tyson is hiring, for, for the most part, it's east of Denver, I believe. Go to the website. Check it out. It changes daily, I bet. You can use me as a referral. I'll leave my contact information down below, my driver ID, and my personal email address if you have any questions. Last year, I made a rate at $100,000. This year, I'm on track to make $115,000, $120,000. So, if you want to work or you know, work as hard as you want here, go home when you want or whatever. It's up to you. The more I'm out, the more I make. That's why I like staying out as long as I do. The more I'm home, the more I spend. So, yeah. They do hire trainees. It might be a little bit too fine to get a trainer. I'm not going to train. That's a fact. So, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below or send me an email. Thank you for watching. This is some of the updates for Tyson Foods. That's coming to a truck near you. Talk to you later.